SiliconANGLE.TV, uh, exclusive coverage of HP Discover 2012. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. I'm with Dave Vellante, the co-founder of Wikibon.org, and uh, we're going to do some analysis here of, of HP Discover. Uh, we normally what we do is we do we do the interviews, we do the breakdown, we share the data from the guests. We just had HP Labs on, phenomenal interview. But we also want to do our analysis of the of the, of the event, Dave. Um, one of the, one of the segments came up, uh, and we had people from the Mission Critical BCS group on our, our interview this morning. They mentioned the Oracle lawsuit. Um, it brings me up to to this segment, which I want to do some analysis on Oracle, uh, Oracle versus HP, Oracle versus the world. Um, obviously, HP Discover they're not in, in bed with Oracle right now, um, but the customers have Oracle. So we heard from the customer user group, uh, Nina, that you know customers are waiting to find out what happens. Because obviously, even though HP's got a little war with Oracle going on right now, they still have their customers use Oracle. What's your take on, on Oracle right now relative to this, uh, in the lawsuit in particular, and in general Oracle? Well, Oracle's at, world, uh, at war with the world, as you know. Uh, we're here at HP Discover, we come down the escalator at the airport, uh, Las Vegas airport, McCarran airport, and there's this big red sign, Oracle. Right? All, all the cabs have Oracle, logos on them, and actually in your face Oracle logo. Oracle, better than HP storage, right? Go to Oracle's website. Um, five reasons why Oracle's better than EMC. Uh, so Oracle's really very aggressive in its marketing. What Oracle tends to do, John, as you know, is it'll, it'll make comparisons with generations of competitors' products that are one generation behind, sometimes two generations behind, literally. Um, but they're factual that our, our system of 2012 runs faster than the competitor system of 2009. <laughs> you know, five times faster, well that's no surprise. So that's what Oracle's all about. Oracle's about in your face, guerrilla marketing. Uh, and Oracle is relevant because Oracle owns the database and it has you know, great application business. Specifically as it relates to HP, I think HP has really, in my opinion, blown the marketing of that whole rift. Okay, so there's a lawsuit, fine. A a HP will you know, take care of that. But the problem that I have with HP is, the way HP should have responded when Oracle said, well, we're not going to support Itanium, is it, the fact is Oracle is supporting Itanium for the next seven years. And HP didn't focus on that, rather HP focused on the bad behavior of Oracle, and that just fueled Larry Ellison's fire. When an Oracle sales rep gets a phone call from a customer saying, what do you mean you're not supporting Itanium? What do you think the Oracle sales rep says? The Oracle sales rep says, no, no, calm down. We're supporting Itanium for the next seven years. You have nothing to worry about. And the customer says, oh, cool. HP, instead of taking that tack, really got defensive. And I think that really hurt its image in the marketplace. So what about um, the approach of Oracle? I mean, we've talked about Exadata in the past versus you know, other solutions. You know, they got the purpose built, they got Sun Microsystems actually, you know, Larry Ellison commented that's already profitable. Um, yeah, they got some swagger, uh, which I, you know, I think will backfire with them in the age of social media and customers getting, getting social information from other customers. So, so yeah, I think that might backfire, but just more on the product side, Dave, what's your take on the, the solution architectures? Yeah, um, I think, I think, um, you know, Exadata, when it first came out, it was alluring, right, because it's this single block of infrastructure, much like a V block, and the difference, of course, is it's very focused on a specific application or a database, Exadata or Exalogic or Exalytics. And um, the reality is, John, that it's based upon, so it used to be based upon HP hardware and then Oracle by Sun, and now it's based on Sun hardware. And the fact of the matter is, in particular, as it relates to storage, Sun hardware has always been deficient. It's always been behind. You know, Sun never really could compete in storage. Um, but now, what Oracle's done with great marketing is put Exadata out there. The customers that you talk to about Exadata are realizing, well, you know, it's very narrow in its application. It can't support multiple applications across the portfolio. Exadata is hugely expensive. Why? Largely because of Oracle licenses and Oracle maintenance, uh, but also because the storage is not the greatest storage. It's not the most efficient, it's not the leading edge. And of course, Ellison will make it sound like it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. That He'll make it sound like he invented you know, columnar storage. Um, so, hats off to Oracle again for its marketing, but I think customers are really starting to find that the allure of Exadata is somewhat illusory, and I think there are better alternatives out there. Customers that actually architect you know, for uh, uh, the application portfolio more broadly are going to actually save a lot of money. 
Let's talk about the comment that Scott McNeely made at EMC World. He sat inside the cube with us. We had a great conversation with him. Um, it's on YouTube, if anyone wants to watch that, SiliconANGLE, um, youtube.com slash SiliconANGLE. Uh, but Scott McNeely uh, was commenting about, anecdotally, how um, the network is the computer was his phrase. And you know, he, what you can see in his eyes, he coined that term and he, he predicted that Sun was based upon the whole cloud concept. And now we have cloud computing, and his joke was, I should just called it cloud, one word marketing. And so in a way he was kind of being cheeky about the fact that he had cloud and he just was bad marketing. Larry Ellison is now putting cloud on everything. So the, the question I want to ask you is, is that an arrogant move in the sense of having, hey, I'm the old guy, he's been the long-standing CEO in the tech business in the 70s, he's been the CEO of Oracle, he's been in the Valley, he's like, I think he's the longest uh, standing current CEO of any tech company uh, in Silicon Valley. Um, so is it like, He's just being, hey boys, I invented cloud, we've done this before. Because that's basically what he's saying. Yeah. Um, in your mind, one, do you think that's too arrogant? And is, has, is cloud different than what he thinks it is? Uh, one, a yes, I think it's arrogant. Two, is it, it, is it too arrogant? No, I think it's smart. I think that um, denying that the trend exists and, uh, when you don't have it, and then once you do have it, announcing it as the most open cloud on the planet is, again, great marketing. Uh, and my message to customers is beware, because you, you have to squint through everything that Oracle says, <laughs> and, and frankly, everything every vendor says, and take it with a grain of salt, but especially Oracle. The other thing about Oracle is you got to read the fine print. Oracle contract negotiations should be treated like a project. Uh, they're one of the most important things that you can do, because Oracle will lock you in more so than any other company as I said, Exadata before, our data, John, shows that Exadata relative to a single SKU appliance in, in broad application workloads is twice as expensive. So I think from that standpoint, it's great marketing. Now, is it cloud? I mean, cloud essentially is you know, access to public uh, infrastructure over IP networks uh, in a rental model, and Oracle has that. So yes, it's Oracle's version of a cloud, and I think it's perfectly legitimate to call it cloud, but it's, a, it's an Oracle cloud, it's a red cloud, and so, um, from that standpoint, customers have to be very, very careful. Final wrap-up question for you here, Dave, on Oracle is, what do you think about HP Discover's uh, vibe relative to Oracle? You mentioned Oracle's slapping up their logos everywhere in the airport, tactic get. Basically, it's an in-your-face with Mark Hurd over there now. Um, what, what do you, what's the take here from HP? Do you see HP getting a little bit antsy, or are they just like typical HP? I think in the, as it relates to Oracle now, it's typical HP, and probably a lot of that's due to the lawsuit, but nonetheless, I think that uh, I love the fact that, uh, that, that HP's going after EMC and, and making these really broad sweeping claims, which are really nuanced. I talked to David Floyer about some of those claims, and it's like, well, if this, then that, and so there's a lot of nuance there, but at the marketing level, it makes great headlines. I'd love to see HP you know, be much more aggressive relative to Oracle. I think people are afraid of Oracle for some reason, you know, because Oracle has so much power, but um, you know, frankly, I think uh, HP's got to take the gloves off there, and it hasn't. And I think, again, part of that is because of the lawsuit, everybody's afraid to talk about it. Um, but they got to get the facts out. For instance, that Oracle is supporting Itanium for the next seven years. I mean, why isn't HP marketing that? That has nothing to do with the lawsuit. No. Okay, Oracle's uh, position in the marketplace will go down or maintain, grow, next, next five, five years. I think that, um, I think or Oracle's position in the marketplace uh, will, will certainly be maintained, and I think its influence will grow because it's really good at acquiring companies. I mean, I agree with what you're saying, that there could be a backlash in this world of social, uh, but I think Oracle is the one company, because they spend a lot on R&D, because they're really smart about acquisitions, that is going to maintain its relevance, certainly for the next five years. Okay, that's uh, the analysis here from HP Discover. I'm Jeff Herr with Dave Vellante. We'll be right back with more analysis from HP Discover right after this short break.